Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And allow the breath to be comfortable. Don't force it too much. Don't put any pressure on it. Just notice which rhythm of breathing feels good. You can ask, does long breathing feel good or short, fast or slow? See what's needed today. Because sometimes long breathing feels good today and something else feels better tomorrow. That kind of thing is unpredictable. But you can learn how to be sensitive to what needs to be done. Today's the solstice. You look on the calendar, it tells us this is the shortest day of the year, shortest in the sense of daylight hours are shortest. When we made the calendar last year, we knew that this would be the day. In fact, they could have calculated it many years ago. The ups and downs of the world are sometimes very predictable, but the ups and downs of a human mind are very unpredictable. As the Buddha said, the human mind can change direction so quickly that there's no adequate analogy for how quick it can, it can turn on itself, which is why we try to practice, so we can get our minds a little bit more under control. So that as long as it's going in a good direction, it will stay in a good direction, which is why it's imperative that we make a constant practice of generosity and virtue meditation. It's not the case you can be generous once and that's enough for your life. Or you can hold the precepts for a couple of days and that'll cover your life. You have to do these things continually. Same with the meditation. It's not something you just do while you're sitting here with your eyes closed. The Pali word for meditation means to develop. Bhavana is the word. And we develop good qualities. And you can do that anywhere. When someone says something that doesn't strike your ears right, you can just leave it at the ears. Learn some patience. Learn some resilience. Develop those qualities. When people mistreat you, learn to develop some goodwill for them, hoping that they'll see the error of their ways. In other words, you can develop good qualities wherever you are, and it's something you should be doing all the time. So it becomes more and more habitual. And so you can guard against these unpredictable downs in the mind. Because your karma, the, the, the path of any one person through the universe is not like the universe. The universe goes around in a fairly predictable way. They can calculate the orbits of the planets years back and years ahead. But as you go through the universe, your ups and downs are based on karma, and that's based on your choices, and your choices can change. So you're trying to make sure that you keep on making good choices because that way they become more and more habitual and you become more and more reliable to yourself. So when things get bad, you, you still hold on to your precepts. When things get good, you hold on to your precepts. Some people, when things get good, get very careless. They feel that they can do anything at all, get away with anything at all. That seems, the, the world seems to be there in favor of them. Well, that's simply because their own karma is supporting them. But it's not going to support them forever if they keep on doing bad karma. So you try to make as much good karma as you can. Now, even though we can't predict any person's course, at least you make it more and more likely that you keep on going in a good direction as you make this more and more habitual. So these are the habits that you, have, you should develop and maintain. Both as you're sitting here with your eyes closed and as you go through the day.